Hi, I'm Ed Whitmore. Um, I currently live in San Diego, California, but I have an art show here at the Passaic County Arts Center in Hawthorne. The reason for that is that I have roots in Passaic County, and it's a real treat for me to show my work here in my old stomping grounds. It's like a homecoming, and it's an opportunity for friends who are still in the area, people I grew up with, uh, to see my work. So I'm not someone who made art my whole life. I was really more as a visual person, but more into photography and filmmaking and writing, actually. When I retired, I discovered this amazing medium called metal effects paint, and I've been working with it for almost seven years now, and I've made about 300 pieces. The thing that I enjoy is watching the paint change color before my eyes. The iron rusts to shades of brown, the copper oxidizes to shades of green, and the bronze oxidizes to shades of blue. So I have an interest in old things and ancient civilizations. I've explored Mayan ruins in Mexico. But also have a fascination with cave art. And this is an example of a piece that is based on a cave sculpture from 30,000 years ago in southern France. This is um, uh, Venus de La Salle, and I've augmented her with some stones and some vectors of energy and turned it into an Earth Mother Goddess shrine. Uh, it's made on a very special piece of wood called Jatoba, which is very dense and very heavy and has a lot of energy itself. So I really enjoy making paintings, but I surprised myself by starting to make sculptures. And while they are sometimes a bit more challenging, they can be even more rewarding than making a painting. For instance, I acquire vintage wrought iron candelabras that I repurpose. I cut off the top of them and I add wood to the base and wind up with something like this, where it's kind of a tree growing up from roots down here. And I've added uh, chrysocolla, which is in the copper family, and it, the colors augment the oxidized paint on the wood. For those who believe in metaphysical properties of stones, these have a very powerful energy. One of the challenges I find as an artist is coming up with new subject matter. I've got a neighbor where I live in Southern California who's a big surfer, and I thought, what would Sal like to see a painting of? That's where I came up with this idea of making kelp beds with fish swimming in them. Now these fish happen to be Garibaldi, which is the state fish of California, but I think everybody can identify them as some adorable little fish swimming amongst the seaweed. The seaweed itself is, appears to be three-dimensional because it is, because I've chiseled into the wood in a technique known as bas-relief. One of the fun things about making art, in my opinion, is collaborating with others. I especially like working with my grandchildren. My nine-year-old granddaughter has designed pieces that I've made, and my seven-year-old grandson actually came up with the idea of adding the eyes to the fish. He was so adorable the way he said it. And this little guy says, Eddie, I know you're the artist, but I really think those fish need some eyeballs. And you know what? He was right. So this is an early work from about four years ago. Um, hand chiseled, of course. You can see the play of light where um, the wood has been removed. But I especially like looking at the top portion of this painting where the branches of the tree are very delicate and they appear to be arching and stretching and reaching towards the sky. My daughter says that I've somehow managed to capture some of the life force of the tree. 
And I hope that people can see that themselves when they come to see it in person. I'd like to dedicate this show to my dear friend Eileen, who tragically passed of brain cancer a few months ago. Unfortunately, she didn't live to see this show here in New Jersey, but I know she would have liked this piece.